Hello library friends, it's Melissa at the Montgomery County Public Library and today we're going to do a couple of more projects for Dragon Week. If you haven't stopped by the library yet to pick up your packet for the older readers, the Dragon Packet has several different activities and we're going to do two activities out of there. One of them is a project you can do entirely home without the packet, but definitely stop by and pick up your packet. You can get them at the Camargo branch here in Mount Sterling, you can walk up or you can get them at the drive-thru, either one. Just let us know that you're here to pick up your summer reading packet for week number four, Dragon Week. So the first project that is in the kit is a flying dragon. It's a paper airplane. So it's pretty simple. You can figure it out on your own, but I will kind of help show you some things. Here is the one that my son and R did. Um, in your packet, you also get a baggie of goodies and there are paper clips in your packet. The paper clips are used for the nose cone to help balance it. And in this case, I also use the extra paper clip. You can glue the wings on, but we've played with the wings to do some science experimenting kind of stuff. Does it fly better with the wings back? Does it fly better with the wings up close? Does it fly better with the wings folded different? So we didn't glue our wings down. We used our two paper clips to actually attach them. And he will fly pretty, pretty decent. So I've already cut one out to show you. And in the instructions, they show you specifically, there's this little color dots. Let's see right there. Which way you fold. So the dark ones fold down, it says. Which that just literally means fold it in on itself. So just literally fold it in half. So it's folded in half. And now the others say they fold up, which means when you fold them, you fold them so that they're sticking up and you fold the parts down. So let me do one. So now you see I've got the down fold and an up fold. And I've got one more that we fold this way. So the picture goes down and the fold itself goes up. So literally what that just makes is, as you can see, this little groovy part and it goes together. So that's where you're going to put one paper clip on the nose, which helps it fly better. And then the wings have those same folds. So fold down or fold it in half so that you can't see the good sides in the middle. And fold up, which really means the good side folds down. and you have the wings. And they have that same little flappy thing in the middle. And you see the spots where it says glue? You can put the wings in there. And like I said, on hours instead of gluing, so we could practice the physics and science behind it. Instead of gluing it, we just used another paper clip and clipped them on so we could play with the wings. So there you go, first one's pretty easy. The other one is a paper chain dragon which is pretty awesome. It's on sticks so you can hang it up. The kids can go through the house with it and have a parade, whatever they wanna do with their paper dragons. So we're going to talk about that. If you got the kit, there actually is a page in the kit that has the head and the tail. So color those and cut them out. And I have one here colored and cut out. Oh, all right, there you go. So it's ready. The other part you're going to need is the paper chain. Paper chain's pretty simple. You will get um, paper in your packet, but you can do it at home. They're just one inch strips, and you can eyeball it. They don't have to be exact, you don't have to measure. But if your kids want to practice measurement at home, then this is the thing that they can practice. Do one inch, one and a half inch, do different sizes. But if you're just doing the project, that doesn't matter. So paper chains are really simple. What is my next color? It's like it's yellow. So you put each paper in the chain, put a little glue on it, and add the next link. It's pretty simple, most people can do that. I've seen them, you know, I'm sure we've all seen them as Christmas decorations and that kind of thing. So the paper chain. Now. For the head, 
We've colored the head. It folds in half as well, so that way your project is two-sided. So fold it in half. At our house, we had a conversation about if it went this way, if that's its mouth, or if this is part of its back, or if it went that way. You can do it either way, but we finally decided on this one that that probably is his mouth, and he's trying to roar. So fold it in half. The first thing you need to do, your kit, your packet kit, also has popsicle sticks in it. So you're going to glue the sticks in between the two layers that you folded. So we'll do that. That way you've got something to hang on to it with or if you want to hang it up or whatever you can do that. So I'll glue that. And it's glued on but I left the rest of it not attached yet. Because to attach it to the chain I'm going to take the seam edge, it doesn't matter really where, and just kind of fold it in half so that I took the loop, it's all attached, I folded it in half. I'm going to put some glue on it and that's going inside of his head to glue down. And I'll put a little more glue on his nose and he's attached. Same thing for the tail. The tail folds in half. I've got to fold it in half. Glue on my popsicle stick. Stick it in the tail. Now fold the other end, there's one end, other end make of that on my paper chain. We'll glue that really good and stick it inside the tail. So now you can make your Chinese dragon as long as you want to make it. Um, the packet includes information about Chinese New Year and the good luck that the dragon brings that's part of the Chinese New Year so that helps you understand that culture and that activity and why there's dragons involved with Chinese New Year and to go with your dragon. But if you haven't picked up your packet yet and you want to make a dragon at home, I've got another paper chain made, same paper chain, we saw how to do that. And I'm just going to freehand a dragon um, and you can do that. Fold a piece of paper in half. Um, here's one that I did already to show you. Um, some people have told me it looks more like a fish than a dragon, but whatever. I just literally did a freehand triangular type shape. This one's a little bigger than the last one. I gave it a mouth because in the one that I did, so I folded my paper in a half, I cut it out. Make any shape you want. Triangular, bulbular. Once I cut it in half, or folded it out, I cut it in half. And then for this one, I made flames. So again, that's freehand. Just do some different weird up and down um, to make our fire breathing dragon. It's not exact science. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact science. That one's a little roundy. So there's. I'm going to glue it in the mouth that I made. That one's got a lot of flames to breathe, looks like. So, flames are in. I'm going to give him, let's go with two big orange eyes. So I've got two pieces of orange paper, scrap paper, and I'm just cutting out two big circles. They don't have to be exact. If you want to trace something, you can. If you don't, that's fine too. Putting some glue on them. And I'm going to glue them to my dragon. Maybe he needs red in the center of his eyes. So I'm going to get another scrap, fold it in half. And the reason I'm folding it in half is it makes two exact same of the circle. That way if your circle's not perfect, and in my case they're not, doesn't matter, they exactly match. This one's probably going to look like a fish too. So I've glued my eyes on. Now, the exact same process as we did with the other one. Glue my popsicle stick in. Put glue on both sides of my popsicle stick. 
put it inside the head we cut. Fold my paper chain just like we did with the other one. And stick it in between those two parts of the head we just made. Now, with he's got that bright yellow, let's give him triangular tail. So there's the rest of my piece. This one a pointy tail. There's my tail. Two pieces. Just fold it in half to make two. Same thing with the popsicle stick. I need another stick out of my bag. Glue it. Stick it in the tail. And now glue my tail to the chain. So you can do that with any paper you have at home. But definitely make sure you stop and pick up your packet. There's other stuff in the packet too. Um, if you haven't seen the video, there's a video on natural dyed eggs in this packet. Um, and you can learn about that. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Did you know, even in fairy tales and stories, um, particularly stories for older readers, the same types of dragons frequently show up with different names, like a drake and a hydra and things. Um, so there's information in your packet about that, about the different types of dragons and those kinds of things. And where dragons turn up in history. Plus word games and all kinds of cool stuff. So, don't forget to stop by and pick up your packet. We hope you enjoy the dragons. Dragon Week has been really interesting here. Um, we miss seeing everybody in person. We look forward to the day that we can get back together for programs. But until then, we hope you enjoy. Make sure you stop and get your packet. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Alright, bye.